Hi everyone, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me, Laura, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to work C2C, which is corner to corner crochet. <laughs> video I'm going to be showing you not only how to increase to create the pattern but also how to decrease. I'm also going to show you a little technique on how to do colour changes as well by carrying the yarn. You may wish to cut the yarn but I'll show you a method on how to carry the yarn. Okay so let's begin. Okay so for this project I'm just working with some uh, DK light worsted weight yarn that's a yarn weight of three and I've got a couple of colours I'm working with um, but you can use any yarn that you like for this project you really can. And uh, with this yarn I'm using, I've chosen a 4mm G crochet hook, but again you can use any hook size that's suitable for the yarn that you are using. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to create the basic technique of working the corner to corner crochet is we are going to chain 6. To begin we're going to start off with the first little square shape. So chain 6, 1, 2, 3, four, five, and six. Okay, so chain six to begin. And these last three chains are going to count as a double crochet. Now this pattern's in US terminology. So these last three chains are going to count as a double crochet. So we're gonna work into the fourth chain along. So we don't count the loop on our hook. We're going to yarn over. We don't count the loop on a hook, and then we count one, two, three, so that's our double crochet, and then in the fourth one, fourth one along, we are going to work a double crochet. Okay, so count one, two, three, four, and in that fourth one, we do a double crochet. So pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so now we've technically got two double crochets, we've got our proper double crochet stitch in that fourth chain and then these three here which have been left is counting as a double crochet. And that should leave you with two chains and in those last two chains we're going to work double crochets as well. So in the next chain along we work a double crochet, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over and in the last stitch we do a double crochet as well. Pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so we end up with four double crochets or three proper ones and then three chains as a double crochet. And that's our first little square. And when working this pattern, I'll show you on my coloured one, you basically, this is the first one we've done here, and then you basically work diagonally. Okay, and that's worth remembering when designing any colour change patterns. So we do this one, and then we do these two, then we do these three, and then we do those two and that one. So you're working diagonally rather than across in rows. So what I'm going to do now, once we've done our first square, is we're going to turn our work and work the next row, which is going to be our diagonal row. So and at the beginning of any increased rows, we're increasing at the moment, we're going to chain six again. So chain one two, three, four, five, and six. We chain six. We do the same thing again as what we did for our first square. So we're going to yarn over and find your fourth chain from your hook. So don't count the loop on your hook. There's your first chain. So one, two, three, four. Find that fourth chain, put your hook in there, and do a double crochet. And then we do a double crochet in the last two. So a double crochet in the next stitch. And a double crochet in that last stitch, that last chain. Okay, so when you've done that, you should, you need to make sure that this first square is facing the opposite direction so you end up with this shape and what you need to do is you need to find the third chain of your three at the end the top chain so count your stitches you should have four three main stitches your three double crochets so there's one and there's an next one two and then three and then we get to your three chains on the end here and you want to find that top chain which is there and in there we are going to do a little slip stitch. So 
So I'm just going to put my hook into this third chain of my three. First three. Like so. And do a little slip stitch. So just bring the yarn through that third chain straight through the loop on your hook. And that joins your second square to your first square going in the opposite direction. And then we're going to work our next square but we don't chain six this time so we only chain six at the beginning of an increased row so what we're going to do now is we're just going to chain three to get our first double crochets chain just three one two and three okay so we're just going to chain three and that's going to count as our double crochet then for our three double crochets we're going to work it into the three chain space so these three chains here you just slip stitched into that third one the space in between these three chains and this double crochet, so this three chain space here, we're going to work three double crochets. Just put your hook into that gap and wrapping it around the chains, we do three double crochet. So one, you may want to just move them over, slide them over, two, and one more, three. Oops, there we go, and there is your your third square or your second one of your second row diagonal row. Okay, so we're still increasing at the moment. We're going to do one more increase round before we do a decrease because in the moment I'm just going to show you a three by three square basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work to work the next diagonal row and because we're at the beginning and we're still increasing we're going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six okay and do the same thing again so we yarn over and we do a double crochet in the fourth chain one two three four then a double crochet in the next chain next chain along okay and get it in there And then a double crochet in that last chain. Okay, so that's the same as our very first square that we did. Then remember to make sure that this square here is facing in the opposite direction. And we need to count over to find our third chain, our top three. So one, two, three, there, there are proper stitches. And then find that third chain, that top chain of your three. And in there, we're going to do same as we did before, a little slip stitch. A little slip stitch in there. Okay. And then this time we don't chain six, we just chain three. One, two, three. And then find your three chain space, same as before. In your three chain space, we do three double crochet, just wrapping it around. One, two, and three, all in that three chain space. Okay, and there's your next square. Same thing again this time, we just find that third chain of our three, count one, two, three, find that third chain and we do a slip stitch so we can join this square. slip stitch okay we need to do one more square chain three one two three and it's exactly the same as this second one here we find the three chain space it's just under there hidden there it is and in there we're going to do three double crochet just wrapping it around the chains one move them over two and three. Okay, so that's the end of our third increase row. And what we're going to do now is we're going to decrease because we don't want to, we want to square it off. We don't want to keep making it a bigger triangle. So all we do, it's very simple. We just turn our work, but we don't chain six this time because we're decreasing. We're actually going to slip stitch over 
to this third chain. So it's, it's as if we've done another square and we just slip stitch into join and then we carry on. But instead of creating this square, we're just literally going to just slip stitch over. So go into that first stitch here and do a little slip stitch. And we're just going to slip stitch over and this basically bypasses this last square to three, so there are three proper stitches and then I'm going to slip stitch into that chain three as well, top of that chain three. Which is incredibly difficult to do on camera. I'm sure you can do a much better job than me. There we go slip stitch into there and then we carry on as if we've already done our first square so we chain three we don't chain six so one two three chain three and then we do our three double crochets in our three chain space okay so one two and three. So we've done our three double crochets in our three chain space, just wrapping it around. Then we need to slip stitch to join. So count one, two, three, and then find that third chain of our three. Put your hook into there. Do a slip stitch. Oops. Then we need to do one more square, so chain three, one, two, three, and do your three double crochets in your three chain space in there. One, two, whoops, three. Then we just slip stitch to join. So find your third chain of your three, just like before. And do a slip stitch into there. But we're not going to do another square. We're going to stop there because we want to square it off. If we did another square, we'd end up with a four by three shape. So but if we want to just create a three by three, we stop there. And then we just turn our work straight away and then slip stitch over because we're still decreasing. Do the same as we did on the last diagonal row. We're going to slip stitch over to the top three chain. So one, two, three, and then find that third chain, do a slip stitch in there. And then we just need to do one more square, same as before, we just chain three, one, two, three, and we do our three double crochets in our three chain space. One, two, and three. And all that's left to do is to slip stitch in our third chain. join around and there we go so that's how we increase and decrease with our corner to corner crochet so we did this square first and then we did these two then these three then those two and then that last one there and there we go and if you want to do color changes all I do is I join the color in the chaining at the beginning so I'll show you now how to join a color so let's say we go back to about I don't know Say I want to join a different colour in the middle. What I would do when I get want to join a new colour is I would, so we got to here and say I'm going to slip stitch into there, slip stitch into there to join that square. 
But if I want to join a new colour, all I do is I bring in my new colour. And instead of yarning over with this colour, I'm just going to yarn over with a different colour. Let's move that away. So let's place that over my hook. And I'm just going to chain with that new colour. So one, two, and three. And then I just pull my tail ends to bring that down. And then I do my three double crochets in my new colour. One, two, and three. Like so, and you may wish to cut your yarn and rejoin on your new colours, but if you want to carry your yarn, what I recommend doing is, I undo that, so I've joined my new colour and I've chained three. Okay, what I'm actually going to do is when I work into my three chain space, so put your hook into there, so it's going into the three chain space, but make sure it goes under your old colour as well. So this is the long tail of yarn I was working with and just make sure that's over your hook and then bring the your colour you're working with through the three chain space and do your double crochets one same again make sure that yarn's just over your hook so you're carrying the yarn okay make sure it's over the hook to and three okay make sure you're carrying that yarn and then when you slip stitch you just you can always just pull the color yarn tight just not too tight that it distorts but tight enough that it, you haven't got any loops hanging out when you join it to your slip stitch so we're going to slip stitch into our little third chain here first of all, we put our hook into our little third chain and then just before we bring that yarn through, we just need to make sure that our pink yarn is just sitting over the top of our hook, okay? Sitting over. And then we bring the purple yarn through. And then do a slip stitch. And then you can just pull this tight. And that just carries the yarn up to the next level. So that if you wanted to drop the purple, instead of working with the purple, you can then bring start working with your new colour straight away because it's just sat there. So we can chain three, one, two, three. Now you may want to play with when to carry the yarn and when to leave it. Now you may wish to, if you were doing another row and you wanted to join with the purple on this square here, not this one here, but the one above it on the next row, you may want to carry this up. But if you were doing a decrease round, you may want to drop it there because if I don't carry the yarn, because I'm going to decrease on the next round, so let's do my three, two, three. So do my three double crochets in the pink. Because I'm decreasing when I turn, I'm slip stitching over on the next row. So I do my slip stitches. One, two. three and four. Let me just get my slip stitches in. I'll do a quick slip stitch. Because I'm slip stitching over, I want my yarn to be sat down here so I can just join it straight away here. And you might think, oh yes, but there's a long bit of yarn there. But what you'll see is when we do our chain three, one, two, and three in our new colour. Get a tangled mess down there. <laughs> you will see that because you're working into the three chain space, which is there, this li line of yarn, you may wish to carry the pink as well, it's up to you, will disappear in your stitches. So one, two, And three, like so, it's disappeared. And then you just slip stitch to join here. 
So that's how you carry the yarn when doing colour changes. And you can get really adventurous with your colour changes. If I bring in here, and you could work something like this. If I just, there we go, refocus. You can get really adventurous, and this is actually um, an eight square by nine square. So I've got eight down this side, nine across here. And I all I did was create on paper a little eight by nine grid and worked out a shape, in this case a heart, and then making sure to follow diagonally like this so I knew I did one two row three row four row five row six rows where I had a lot of the pink so on and so forth you can work out how to create a pattern with those color changes and I carried the yarn with the same technique I've just shown you for this and obviously you do get the odd little bit of color showing through so you may wish to cut your yarn and rejoin it's entirely up to you and how patient you are um, but I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along and it's inspired you to try something new. But I will see you soon for some more crochet fun and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers guys. Bye.